Well, we'll start with the term Victor Cicero. Both applicants are interested in their previous position. So for the first position, we have Vic Cicero. All right, so you're doing that round. So we have a voice and he's counsel, and according right. to your bylaws, he has to be on there. But what happens in a case where we're coming up in an election year, and I'm just throwing this out there, that Mr. Sister does not, and then you have a counsel. Yeah, then he fails to qualify, and you have to appoint another council member that has been elected. But are we appointing him as the council delegate? One of at least two. That's what the bylaws say. I have three one. The library board shall consist of seven members appointed by the Marshall Borough Council, including at least two from the council as per ordinance 644. The members shall serve without compensation in the event of a midterm vacancy. The fact that there may be temporarily less than seven members shall not be a violation of these bylaws. Okay, so Fred, you're on there, so that's one. I'm one, correct. Okay, so unless put another nomination of this current challenge, Vic, then it's fixed on it, correct? Is that what you're saying? You guys put another name up there. Should we vote on Vic? I think Ted nominated him. Ted did not nominate Vic. Everybody's jumping on board to do it. Are there any other nominations? <laughs> any other nominations? Any other nominations? All those in favor of Vic Cicero for the library board? Say aye. 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 Opposed? 8-0. <clears throat> Next we have the expired term of Nancy Sherlock, expired on 3-1-17, a two-year, a, a three-year appointment to expire on 3-1-2020. Now I have a nomination. I'll nominate Nancy Sherlock. Can I nominate? Let me wait. Okay. Nancy Sherlock. Are there any other nominations? I nominate Audrey Meyer. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? We have two names before us. We'll do a roll call for this. When your name is read, just call out the name of preference. Mr. Cicero. Nancy Sherlock. Mr. Kerner. Nancy Sherlock. Ms. Cronwell. Nancy Sherlock. Mrs. Larson. Audrey Meyer. Mrs. Parkins. Nancy Sherlock. Mrs. Pepitone. Audrey Meyer. Mr. Sanford. Audrey Meyer. Mrs. Smith. Audrey Meyer. Now I'll say. I cast it over the four four tie. You know, I really don't like breaking these four four ties. Get in there. I'm going to vote for Nancy. I broke in for Mr. Miss Sherlock's favor. Thank everyone for their interest in the library board. Uh, we'll have more vacancies again next year. And I'd love to see that many people put their names in because for a long time we didn't have any. So please keep your interest up. Give one a chance. Move on to 11 announcements. Yes, thank you, uh, Council President. I just have a couple here. Um, this Friday, March 24th, and next Friday, March 31st, there's a fundraiser at Menino's from uh, Morrisville United. Uh, that's the group that had the anti drug march at, in August. Uh, you do need a coupon to have it count toward the fundraiser. So um, you can either print out the ones that are on Facebook or you can talk to somebody that was involved in the Morrisville United March, myself, um, Hal Wilcox, Billy Kerner, anybody you know that, that was involved in that. Um, also, as I started to tell Ms. Crone, I think her name was, um, on Friday, March 31st, uh, PennDOT will be meeting with State Representative Perry Warren. We will be walking around the South Pennsylvania Avenue where a lot of people have their concerns. We're going to be talking about hopefully doing something about the truck traffic. Uh, personally, I have tried to go through the companies, but that didn't really work. So hopefully, we can 
you can meet with PennDOT. Um, that should be somewhere around 2.30. If that changes, I don't know if that's something that you can put on the cable channel. But um, my information, again, is on the website. So if anybody has any questions or concerns or comments or issues, um, I do have a whole list. And certainly anybody in the first ward is, is definitely invited to that meeting. Or, again, just let me know specific concerns that have not been spoken of before. Um, I think that's it. Thank you. Anyone else? I would just like to thank the public works guy for the job they did on the rest of the That's kind of the shock of the meeting. The meeting was around. They did a phenomenal job. Just as good. Anyone else? I'll wait for Burl Fishman. Okay, let me move. Um, just let everyone know that uh, PennDOT was in here last week, last Friday. Um, thank you, Mr. Subi, for being there. Um, Danielle was there. Ms. Larson, I should say, I'm sorry. Um, Chuck Michael Haney, our senator, was there. Um, and he brought quite a few PennDOT in here. We had the, uh, a couple guys in the traffic study for us. Um, happened to be on the wrong end of town, which they didn't realize. So we will do another count on the other end. Um, they are going to be laying down some um, uh, monitoring on the roadway to catch the ramps coming on off US-1 to see the uh, type of trucks that are coming through along with the list that we're going to be compiling. Um, several residents um, have compiled lists over the last six months. And so that was all turned into the senator and to um, PennDOT. They were very cordial with their time. They were here for two hours with us. Um, our public works, Mr. Lady was there, who I want to thank that was quite a uh, good input on some of that information. We do definitely, besides the traffic that's coming through um, on, the, on the car level, through the different parts of town, through these apps, obviously I didn't even realize what's happening. The trucks also work off of app systems. And what I was told by PennDOT was that uh, a lot of them are avoiding this special um, um, GPS that they use for trucking and are using some of the cheaper versions like the Garmin and stuff will then reroute them automatically down to here. Um, and that's because it costs, costs those companies a lot of money to be on those, on those type of GPSs. But they will be contacting those companies to address that issue. Um, the senator was here. They brought all the maps. They're, they are going to do some definite signage changes. Um, he is going to be working with PennDOT to do some of that. Some of the things that are happening, like those tractor trailers that are coming down off of Bridge Street, they're actually entering off US-1 because a lot of them realize it shouldn't be coming down this way. Once they're coming down this way, they're going to get to Bridge Street and they don't know which way to go. So they're ending up either on Delmore or they're ending up making some big turns, which the senator just happened to catch himself when we took a little walk down Bridge Street. So he got a chance to actually see what we've been telling him. For the minute and a half, he was standing there on the corner a tractor trailer came down Bridge Street and attempted to make that turn and had quite a hard time making that turn. And another one came down off of Pennsylvania Ave from north to south at the same time, heading right in through First Ward. <coughs> at the same time, coming down off the ramp were two full loaded dump trucks coming down off that ramp. So he got a pretty quick assessment of what we were talking about without even going down there. It's a serious issue we have going on. So um, he will be addressing that. Everything will be copied to him that PennDOT's working on. Like I said, they were very cordial. They did say that there's going to be some actually road work they were already in process of working on on the 32 split, which we all know has been a nightmare of revised snipes. So um, that will be sometime next year they're going to be addressing that. And hopefully with what they're talking about, it's going to be an actual dedicated uh, exit from Arsenal instead of the way it merges the way it is because you've got people crossing over each other. So it's it's a it's a big thing they're going to be doing. It's not going to be small, so it's not going to happen overnight. But they're definitely working on it, and um, so any anything is going to be a help for us. So I, I just want to thank PennDOT, Senator, the staff for being here, uh, Ms. Larson for helping out with some of the issues that she had turned into him also, and. Um, to Ms. Chronicle, too, for also trying to do her part as far as uh, trying to get anybody to, to listen to what's going on down there. It's a mess, along with now finding out that we're also having car traffic in through uh, our, our residence areas. It has to come to a stop. So I just wanted to let everybody know where we are with that. I really appreciate it.
here. Okay. Yeah. So did you get the name of the pen dot? You just let me know. I had it like, when I, I had the card that Bob also has. Okay. Uh, there, was, there was about eight of them over there. Well, it's good to see that both yeah. houses uh, are both our representatives from what we said we understand are are addressing this issue. I think both of them are working together on this one. I'll push this one. Yeah, they did say that um, the 32 split coming from Route 1, the signage will be changed. They're putting it out to bid August of this year, 2017, and they should be starting it in spring of 2018. When I heard dedicated lane to Mars, was that coming off of 13? They're going to reconfigure that. They're going to reconfigure that whole area. Yeah. The whole area is going to be completely reconfigured. So like one lane will, you will be coming to Mars, well, the other lanes, you will be coming on Route 1. You will not have that crisscross.